Okay, here we're going to solve rational equations. So the last one we were solving, uh, the z or finding the zeros of polynomial equations, quadratic equations, those kind of equations. We used methods of factoring. We used methods of using our calculator and such. And we can still use our, a method of using our calculator here as well. We could graph this side and graph that side, find the intersection point. Or we can move everything to one side and set it equal to zero and find the zeros after we do that. Uh, but the method that we're going to use right now is actually, I think, somewhat faster. Um, and that is to just uh, solve uh, using the method of get rid of the fractions. So we've got lots of fractions. That's what rational means, fractions. And how I get rid of fractions is by multiplying by what's in the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that. First thing is, there's a b minus 3, b minus 3 in the denominator here, and here there's a b. So apparently there's two different kinds of denominators, I need to get rid of both of them. So I'm going to start off by multiplying by the simplest denominator here, b. And I'm going to multiply every term by b. So if I multiply this by b, again, it's when I multiply by b, that's like b over 1, so the b's on the top, I'm multiplying by b on the top then this right here would become 4b on the top. And the bottom would remain unchanged because I can't cancel this. They're not, uh, this is two terms, this is one. I can't do that. Okay, so if I multiply this part by b, though, that does cancel. And so I'm left with 3 there. If I multiply this by b, well, I can't cancel b with b minus 3. That's not something I can do. Uh, if I multiply the top part by b, well, that's b squared. Okay, so now I've gotten rid of one of my fractions. So now I need to get rid of the other two. Both of them on the bottom have b minus 3. So I'm going to multiply everything by b minus 3. And when I, when I do this, I mean using parentheses, the whole quantity of b minus 3. And if I do that, well, that cancels. So I'm just left with 4b if I multiply this one by b minus 3. And over on the other side, we'll get to the middle one in a moment. If I multiply this by b minus 3, that also cancels. So I'm just left with negative 2b squared. And uh, looking here, I have right now, it's just 3. So 3 times b minus 3, that doesn't cancel. So this is 3 times b minus 3. So again, I started with multiplying by b, it canceled in one place and it didn't in, in the other two, so it's written there, and then by b minus 3, which canceled two places and didn't in the middle, so it's still there. Okay, now I'm just going to solve this like it's a, a regular quadratic. I can see that my highest power is 2, so I'm going to get everything to one side, make it equal to 0. This is how we solve polynomials and quadratics. So first, let's distribute, so 4b plus 3b minus 9 equals negative 2b squared. Now I'm going to move everything to this side and I'll get positive 2b squared because I'm moving that over here. Uh, 4b plus 3b is 7b minus 9 equals 0. Okay, and now I can use my calculator, but more specifically you're going to need to use a quadratic formula because your calculator will give you rounded answers. And uh, if it doesn't come out to be an, an actual number, like 3, if it comes out to be like the square root of 5, your calculator will round, which means you're only estimating on your calculator, not getting the exact answer. And what we want is the exact answer. So we need to be able to use different methods. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use quadratic formula. You can take a look in your book under the section of quadratic equations for that. But I'm just going to solve that here using that method. So it goes negative b, so negative 7. And again, it's ax squared plus bx plus c. So even though I have a letter b here, it doesn't change it. Okay, just pretend the b is an x. So negative 7 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 49, minus 4ac. So minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 9, over 2a. And a is 2, so 4. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this fairly quickly. 
So uh, minus 4 times 9 is 36, times 2 is 72, 72 plus 49 is 121. So this is negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 121 over 4, which this happens to come out to a nice uh, number here. The square root of 121 is 11 over 4. And now I just need to do the positive and the negative. So negative 7 plus 11 is 4. 4 over 4 is 1, so b is 1. That's one answer. And a negative 7 minus 11 is negative 18. Negative 18 over 4. Uh, it can reduce to negative 9 over 2 or negative 4.5. That is a ugly five, but there we go. So this is the method of solving uh, rational, fun rational equations. It simply just comes down to this. Multiply until you get rid of the denominators. And once you do, solve using older methods. Mm -hmm.